What's up YouTube world? We want to talk to you guys today about online competition. The online services uh, provide a great service. They have a great presence. Um, they're kind of, if you will, national accounts. They have the inside track to property management companies and other um, services, homeowners associations that we may not get into right away as we start our line business. Um, we can provide the uh, personal touch unlike the uh, online services because they're in some other state or other county or city. They're not here in the same service area that we service. They've hired uh, subcontractors to uh, come out and mill yards. And what I've done here is to take a basic example of how much they're going to charge to know how much money I'm under bidding my customer. See, when you underbid yourself, you're losing money. And it can be anywhere from 10 to 30% of profit that you can be making. But on the flip side, you can look at it this way. You might be able to... Um, Give that 10 to 30 percent to an online service to find customers for you that you feel more comfortable with versus that uh, yourself finding all these customers or answering the phones and all that. So it's a vice versa. I would much rather build my own company with my own clients, and once I get to a certain level, I can sell those um, this business and walk away with uh, enough money in the bank, let's say over 15 years, what if I get 100 customers every year? And those customers per year will spend 1000 to $3,000 with my company. How much, how big of a business can I get? And what if I add additional services like construction, See, right here on this particular um, online service, they want you to kind of outline the, the yard briefly so they can give you a price quote. So we roughly estimated that this yard with this online service is roughly 30,000 square feet. So if you estimate a yard to be roughly 30,000 square feet, how much do you charge? Do you charge $60 or $70 to mow that yard? Well, it looks like for their basic service, they're going to charge that customer $75. So if you're charging $50 or anything less than $75, you might not be offering the right package. And they charge as much as $129 for a more um, premium package. Okay, now then they're looking to schedule a date to get you started. This is basically some of the steps the customer is going to go through for their online service to get a rough estimate uh, how much they're going to be paying per service. This is a weekly mo. That's $75. That's a lot of money. Let's see. And... Uh, Back to some of the other topics. When you're using online services like this, they're a tremendous help to building your business. But if you're not building your business in a way that's going to grow for you personally, because see, these online services can cut you off at any minute. Bi-weekly mowing, $95. Premium service, $165. See, They've already rated what it's going to cost them. Grass trimming, mulching, blowing. That's a basic service for 30,000 square feet. That's not bad. That means if you want to get a price idea how much the online services are charging, you're right. You're way, you are way under budget or you're way, way 
below a price of estimating, quoting, you should be able to go out there, have enough money in the bank to go buy, pay cash for mowers, not struggle. I mean, you, you should be able to um, probably every two to three years get a new mower, uh, stay up on uh, all the maintenance for your mowers. Uh, check this other service out. And they're, they're an online service or a national company, and they can offer you all kinds of yards anywhere within a city, major uh, city, in the, I believe in the United States. One of the things that you're going to think about when you check these companies out to see how much money you might be losing or how much you might be uh, making per lawn service. Are you within the, the normal pricing range? You're just checking out the competition. See, you, you put in your address. You put in an email. You put in uh, how big is your yard. You put in, um, please select an option. How tall is your grass? How long is your grass? I mean, these are qualifying questions. I talk to customers every single time they call me. These are qualifying questions I ask them. See, you want to probe, find the right information so you can appropriately assess a situation before you go to their yard. You don't want to drive across town over an hour just to get to a yard. So we're going to say it's between uh, half an acre to three quarters of an acre, which is roughly 30,000 square feet. We're going to put a, a fictitious um, account in there. We're going to say the grass is between four to eight inches because it rains here in Florida a lot. And we're going to see our price. Every six days, it's $66. Every 10 days, $70. Reoccurring service, uh, $75. A one time, $80. So I'm way off. I am totally way off. So that means this company is making as much money as I am when I go out and mow. Upgrade, add uh, edging and flower bed cleanup. One-time service starting at 150. That's a spring cleanup. That's just starting. My starting price is 100. Theirs is 159 per service. I'm way off. So I'm assessing my situation. I'm realizing that I'm underpricing. And the customer still comes to this service and uses them because they're a service that calls a company out like mine to go mow yards. Yeah, I might be making $30 on a yard that they're paying $50 for. What if I got that client myself and I charge the customer $50 and I cut out the middleman and I can take that $50 and, you know, Realize uh, I can go do 10 of those in one day, make 500. Is that realistic? Yes, it is. Is it going to happen today? Maybe not. But I think it's important that we can realize that we can go out there, charge our customers more than what we're charging currently because we're thinking, oh my goodness, $30 is going to get me in the door uh, today. You know what? We're ripping ourselves off as a company. And uh, we need to realize if we're not going to use these online services as like a secretary or a phone answering service, that we're just ripping ourselves off and we need to go out there and find our own clients. $40. Okay, $40 is pretty reasonable for a seven day, you know, for a small yard, a quarter acre property, 10,000 or 12,000 square feet or less, which is a quarter of an acre roughly. So every 10 days, it's $41. Every 14 days, it's $43 and so on. That's pretty reasonable. It's pretty fair. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Like and spread the word. Subscribe. And as always, check us out on Patreon and other social websites. And um, if you have any questions or concerns, list them down below. I'm going to continue um, 
giving you some ideas of other addresses with this online website check out our competition online because you know what our competition is there our competition is real and the competition can be your friend and can help you in the long term by building your business by not if you don't have all the knowledge and resources just check it out check it out thanks again have a great day Thank mm -hmm. you.